Hi guys, I hope you guys had a great holiday and happy new year. Today I wanted to share some Amazon favorites. I've been wanting to do this video for quite a long time actually and I just always put it off. All of my Amazon favorites will be linked below individually but I also have an Amazon shop page. Just be aware that I do make a commission off of any purchases made but doing that just helps my channel and all of that good stuff so thanks in advance if you buy any of these things. I've separated them into a few categories. Kitchen, which is the biggest one obviously you guys know I love to bake and like make cocktails and stuff my second one being home decor and the third one being more like work office-y kind of stuff so let's jump in with the kitchen stuff the first one that I use every single day are reusable straws I have these gold ones that are longer for taller glasses that are bent I have a nice short straight one i use these ones the most because i mostly make little lattes and lastly i have these big glass ones they also had a bent one um, it came in a pack but i'll link all of these straw sets below they're great i used to use paper straws beforehand and i just really like these metal ones and glass ones better um, because they're reusable and it feels better than paper paper is trash but I was trying to save the turtles. In the same vein I buy a lot of my bar accessories on Amazon. I got this Boston shaker in the beginning of quarantine and it really came in handy for when I was making a bunch of cocktails in the beginning of quarantine. I have one now that's all metal um, that I like a little bit better that's not from Amazon but you can find something similar on Amazon if you like too. But this is great if you like to make cocktails at home. And I do kind of want to do cocktail videos. Let me know what you think of that in the comments. I'm just kind of hesitant because I'm not a bartender and never have been a bartender. I just think it's fun. I also have a few strainers from Amazon. This is my newest one looks like this but I have another one as well and then I just got this for Christmas. It's for stirred cocktails just the glass and the bar spoon really excited about this bar spoon honestly it's going to be great for stirring up my manhattans and i like it because you can use the little spoon to grab your cherries i was using a knife to stir my stirred cocktails before and it was not it then i also bought these really cute little toothpicks from amazon and like a little set that has different shapes on it this is great for garnishing like little cherries on a cocktail but the thing i want to use these for next is like for a charcuterie moment put some salami on there i just think it would be really nice but you can use toothpicks for a lot more things and these are nice because you don't throw them away. You can also find a lot of nice glassware on Amazon. The only ones that I have right now are these shot glasses. And I don't take a lot of shots, but I thought these were kind of an elegant way to take shots. Um, maybe one day when house parties are a thing again, I'll use these. But I just thought they were really beautiful. And one day I will get those cool like cylindrical wine glasses that everyone has. But I still have my wine glasses, but I keep breaking them. So maybe that will keep happening and I can buy some new ones. Speaking of wine, this is a gift that I got for my roommate, but I use them all the time as well. They are these little wine stoppers, and it's kind of a vacuum seal. It is a vacuum seal. I don't know how long it keeps the wine fresh because I try to use my wine up pretty quickly, but I think it works. It has a really nice hold um, on your wine. You just kind of push this thing down and the cork part kind of inflates a little bit and seals it. Another one of my favorite quarantine projects was redoing all of my spices in little gold lid glass jars just so they're all cohesive. I'll insert a clip of my spice drawer. It's not a drawer, it's a cabinet. I don't know why I said drawer. But this was just a great way to streamline all of the packaging. Um, I still don't have my spice cabinet perfect yet, but this really helped. If you guys watch my vlogs or follow me on Instagram, which you should follow me on Instagram at Olivia Frescura, I'll link it below. I always post about my Nespresso machine. I love it. And something I bought on Amazon for it immediately after I got it was a pod holder that goes underneath and it's just a drawer that stores all of your pods it's really handy really easy also for all of my beverages especially my coffee i preferred iced so i needed to find a way to have ice every day because my ice maker doesn't work in my freezer and i don't have enough freezer space to buy bags of ice so i bought a true cubes off of amazon which makes four large clear ice cubes at a time from tap water the clear ice was super important to me and actually in the beginning of quarantine i was buying ice from an ice company here in la that makes clear ice for cocktails uh, I just really like having the clear ice in my cocktails, especially if I'm shooting content for a brand or just because I like to shoot cocktail content and share it on my Instagram. 
but the true cubes allows you to do it at home and it uses tap water which is crazy to me it's not perfect ice but it's really great for at home ice it's pretty clear the only issue i ever have is air bubbles and that's like no big deal to me so here's one of my cubes it's kind of been sitting out for a while but as you can see it's pretty damn clear i'll pour my lacroix over it so you can get the real gist this is going to be some great asmr i can just tell oh it wasn't so that's how clear it is you can see my face this is amazing you can just see those air bubbles there but other than that it's perfect this one was kind of expensive, it's like $40, but to me it was worth it for how much I like having mostly clear ice and the size of cubes is nice because I just use one cube every day. And then another thing I liked for my Nespresso was the Hyper Chiller. I'll put a picture of it here because I didn't pull it out, but um, I'm not using it right now because I don't have that much space in my freezer, but it's like this cool pitcher that you put water in in certain places and then freeze it and then you can brew your coffee in it and the hot coffee becomes instantly ice cold in 60 seconds and that's great if you like iced coffee as well but you don't want to use ice and have it dilute uh, but I would just do it cold make it cold and then pour it over ice so the ice doesn't dilute still but the coffee's already cold if that makes sense it's not melting the ice immediately like when I brew it directly over ice. So I really like that. My top favorite is the True Cubes, though I cannot live without that at this point. But my next picks are for people that like baking. My favorite baking pans ever are USA pans. Um, I found these from bloggers that I follow. Um, this is just a loaf pan, but I have several pans, like the 9x13, um, and then an 8x8, I believe, square, and then this one. I need to switch my cake pans to be USA pans, but um, I'm getting there, building my collection. They're built out of this really thick metal, um, and then it's coated, so it's pretty non-stick. Um, I've had these pans for so long, they don't get rusty and gross. They're just perfect. And then to go along with them, if you're a baking fiend like I am, are little pre-cutout parchment rounds or squares that fit the exact pan size. That you use. Next up I'm going to share my favorite home decor and storage solutions from Amazon. My first one being these gold wire baskets. So I have a bunch of these baskets uh, to organize my candles. It acts as like a pretty display item while organizing it. I also have a few in my hallway closet to organize my travel products and then I have a different style of wire basket that holds all of my skincare face masks. I feel like you need to specify face masks now like is it a covid face mask or skincare another favorite purchase off of amazon are frames i have these two frames in my bedroom um these are from our trip to japan last year if you didn't watch that vlog you need to watch it because it's my favorite vlog i've ever created um these two in particular are by a brand called lawrence frames i really like this brand because they're pretty inexpensive and i love kind of like the intricate designs that these have so this one as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by a spam call about my vehicle when I don't even have my driver's license. I love the intricate kind of detailing in these frames in particular, but I have a few more frames that I'll also link below that I like. I have this kind of clear glass one that I have in my bedroom right up there. Um, and then in my dining room, I have a lot of black frames that I also got on Amazon. They're pretty reasonably priced and you can get a lot of custom dimensions. Another home decor favorite that I don't have in front of me, but I have clips of are um, planters for plants. Uh, I kind of have a black thumb, but I still have plants that are half dead. So I love to get my planters off of Amazon. I have a black one and a gray one that I really like that are both in my dining room. And they are pretty okay priced. I don't know why planters have to be so damn expensive but they are i just like that amazon you can get a lot of different sizes different designs um, and it comes fast another one that seems boring but i really like is my keychain for my keys this is my spare one but it came in a two pack um, and i just think that we need to get rid of those little rings that you have to like pry apart with your nails and it's just a disaster this one screws off you just insert all of your keys and then tighten the screw and you can fit a bunch of keys on here and it was really cheap, um, sturdy, simple, love it. A new purchase for me that I'm declaring a lifesaver because my jewelry was an absolute disaster um, are these little jewelry organizing things. 
Um, I bought a five pack, the rest of the cubes are up there. Um, it also includes this really long one, but I just use the little square ones. So I have like all my earrings, I don't want to tilt it too much, but I'll film an extra clip. All my earrings, rings, necklaces, um, things of that nature, all organized really nicely. Uh, before they were just an organized unorganized tangled mess so I really like having these and then you guys know I'm an absolute candle fiend so of course I have candle accessories from Amazon two of my favorites right now are wick trimmers um, I have bought these as gifts for people I have several laying around my house I used to have one at my old office next to my desk because I would light candles at work uh, but these ones from Amazon they're just really modern and clean looking and do the job and then something that has become more trendy lately is to use electric lighters and i have this little gold electric lighter from amazon that i really like i might need to buy a second one because this is in my living room but i want one for my bedroom now focus oh maybe i should not light my hand on fire but that's what it looks like when you light it and lastly we have my work slash techie kind of stuff i'm not working right now but i still use some of these things uh the first one being a phone memory card reader. When I bought this, it changed my life, both personally and professionally. I was shooting a lot of content for work and this is a great way to just instantly be able to upload it to your phone. It works for photos and videos. If you create any sort of content, it's a must have, honestly. If you don't have one, you're missing out and it's just like for the standard SD cards. Next up, whenever I was redoing all of my spices, I wanted to get a label maker to label them all nicely. So I have this Dymo Letra Tag label maker. Um, I really like these. I'm surprised it took me until 2020 to have one of these, but it's really come in handy, honestly, um, to label all my spices and other fun stuff, um, like file folders and boring stuff like that actually it's not fun at all but it's fun in my head which leads me into my next item and it's just these moleskin plain classic journals and I use these as my diary journals I have been journaling for six years now uh, since September 2014 when I studied abroad I never stopped journaling since so I also use the label maker to label my journals so this one is from January to this one's my first half of 2021 and then these oh god these are where I keep the rest of my journals um, so that is the last six years of my life on paper when I was working I got really into using a planner but then in 2020 it didn't really make sense to have a planner because nobody knew what the fuck was going on so right before I lost my job I bought these weekly planners from Amazon um, I really like this company. I think it's really cute. It's just like these peel off weekly planners. I like how it has every single day um, noteworthy shit. So if you have like a call or something, the brand is called Bliss Collections um, that has your weekly goals. And that's kind of like how we would structure our days. Oh, and a to-do list on the side. Can't forget the to-do list. Um, those are like all the things that I need in a planner for the most part, so I really like that one. And they have ones that don't say shit on it. Um, I just like that. And then I also have this grocery list that says groceries and shit on it, and it's magnetic so you can stick it to your fridge. And last but not least, we have my elliptical. I bought an elliptical for myself for my birthday in August because who knows when we're gonna be able to go to a gym again. Uh, we can't even go to a restaurant right now, so LA is really not vibing right now. I mean, technically we're supposed to stay in our houses right now, so it's not great. So I bought the elliptical. It was $229 on Amazon. I love the design of this one in particular because it's white and black, so it matches my room decor perfectly and blends in with my wallpaper. It does take up a lot of room in my room, but it's it's just nice to be able to work out again. I was having some problems with it at first because the screws get loose and you have to tighten them so it was getting kind of squeaky but I think I finally cracked the code on how to tighten them correctly so it's silent again. But being unemployed right now and even when I do have a job I think having the elliptical at home will really be a game changer because I don't know when I'm going to feel comfortable going to a gym again once they reopen because gyms are so disgusting. Um, it's nice to just be able to spend the time uh, 
doing some exercise when I don't really want to go outside. I like this one because it tracks your time and your calories as well, if that's something that you're into. I mostly use it for the time. The calories is nice, but I don't really know how accurate it is. It wasn't too difficult to set up. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. Of course, I made my dad help me do that because I make him do everything for me. And those are all of my Amazon favorites as of late. Um, I feel like we've covered a lot of territory, so I hope you liked all of these products. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. I post kind of lifestyle-y, baking, vlog type videos. And follow me on Instagram at Olivia Frescura if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know what your favorite thing from Amazon is. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.